Okay, thank you very much. Um, first of all, I'd like to express my sincere thanks to Dr. Usui for providing me opportunity to present our recent progress. Um, the title of my talk is Integrative Bioscience with Dynamic Brain Platform. And uh, <clears throat> yes, a moment. Okay. Um, in, this talk, in, in, this, in this talk, I will introduce Japanese physium effort um, with the uh, collaborative joint research uh, with dynamic brain platform and also uh, system biology communities. I am not from the neuroscience uh, field, but I'm from bioengineering field, but I have learned neurophysiology uh, when I was a student from, from the uh, famous textbook from Neuron to Brain. And the subtitle of, uh, as you know, subtitle of this textbook is a uh, cellular approach to uh, function of the, of the nervous system until the third edition. As kind of by definition, neuroscience uh, tried to integrate from the neural activity or, or, or cellular level to the whole brain level or system's behavior or animal's behavior levels. And uh, now the another word, a molecular approach, is added at the fourth edition, but uh, still uh, neuroscience is, uh, as a nature, trying to integrate from the cellular level up to uh, uh, system level, brain level, uh, behavior levels. So in this talk, uh, uh, in, in the Japanese physium effort, we try to establish compute, computational and information infrastructure that can enfan, en enhance this uh, integrative approach. Um, after complete of genome sequencing at the beginning of this century, um, Sorry. Okay, after complete of genome sequencing at the beginning of this century, there is a huge and uh, worldwide and uh, worldwide trend to establish uh, information infrastructure towards integrative and predictive biological. Uh, Integrative uh, predictive biology and uh, medicine, and yeah, in sorry, what was I? Mihiro had sat down on me saying this. Okay. Such an infrastructure is, uh, as a whole, could be termed as in silico human or virtual physiological humans, on which we want to perform uh, biological, physiological research as well as uh, clinical, medical decision making. This is a map showing the worldwide effort for physiom and systems biology. In EU countries, there is a Europhysium or virtual physiological human project uh, is promoted. In the United States, there, there are also many physium type uh, multi scale modeling, multi scale simulation project is going on. And uh, as, a as one of the representative efforts of physium project is IUPS, International Union of Physiological Science Physium Project, which is conducted in the University of Auckland in New Zealand. And uh, physium.jp is one of these efforts to contribute uh, to this kind of international effort. This is a website of physium.jp, www.physium.jp, and uh, one of the core two uh, software, IDE version 1.3, is just released today. So please visit this website and look around. 
Physium.jpm that established a platform for integrating hierarchical, biological, physiological functions at multiple levels and scales. And uh, we, to this end, we try to, uh, we have uh, proposed model description and we have published databases for sharing, model sharing and reuse. And we have published machine readable uh, proposed machine readable model description language, which is called ISML, XML based in silico markup language. And ISML has a capability of describing ordinary differential equation, PDE, DDE, SDE, and also multi agent system uh, simulation like modeling, etc., and combination of these. And we also published databases storing models in, in this case, ISML specified language, and that is uh, in silico DB, including model database in ISML and morphology database and time series database. And uh, we have also developing, a, we have been developing an integrated development environment or integrated environment that is for model browser and model editor and simulator. And this integrated environment allows the user to import uh, from models in different language and uh, also to export into models in different languages, such as SBML, CellML, like a markup language. And the, this integrated environment allows to visualize model structure and mathematics and to edit models with ease, uh, including structure of the model and mathematical equations. And uh, IDE allows the user to numerically simulate models, to combine models from different platform databases into single user created new models for their own research. And it's allowed the user to combine geometrical morphological information with mathematical models, to combine time series data with mathematical models. For example, action potential clamp uh, simulations or inverse dynamics simulation of body, uh, body motion can be performed on this integrated environment using measured data and also mathematical models. Okay, so here, let me introduce a use case of our platform. Uh, for, to this end, I created virtual story uh, on the neural control mechanism during upright standing uh, in health normal and also in pathological situation in Parkinson's disease. So uh, the major purpose of the integrative approach is to establish a quantitative and logical bridge between different levels and scales of biological physiological functions. We have a bunch of uh, knowledge available related to this uh, function and disorder so that we want to integrate this. So let me first introduce body dynamics uh, or individual scale. And the basic question what that, that we want to ask is that how do we human keep upright posture? This is very, very classical question, but still unsolved. And uh, we also relate to this function to the question like uh, how it is destabilized in Parkinson's disease. These two are the experimentally obtained data from healthy subject and from Parkinson's disease patient for during quiet standing about the uh, postural fluctuation. It's called uh, postural sway. As you can see, the size of fluctuation seems to be very similar or a little bit smaller in Parkinson's disease patient. However, the sway pattern is quite different and, and uh, power spectrum density function could be very different. And recently, we proposed a new hypothesis that a human being is controlling upright posture using intermittent control, where small gain active feedback is turned off intermittently at appropriate timing. With this mechanism, we can, we can realize very compliant posture. On the other hand, if we assume conventional or classical continuous uh, feedback control for the upright posture control, where the active feedback is always on 
And in this case, we need to assume large proportional and derivative gains, and it's result in the very stiff postures. So this is a new hypothesis and a, a core observation of this story, budget story. So let us uh, try to relate this body dynamics with muscle activity and in brain activities. So these two are the experimental, also experimental data from normal subject and Parkinson's disease patient. Let uh, the posture sway and the green, uh, the EMG from the solus, blue uh, from the gastrocnemius. As you can see, you may see uh, intermittent like activity in the gastrocnemius and we assume, we, we hypothesize that this is related to the inter intermittent control of posture. If you look at the Parkinson patient, we have a increased uh, non-intermittent tonic activity of gastrocnemius and it may be, we, we hypothesize that it may be related to the increase in gabagic uh, basal ganglia output and uh, if we try to understand this from the integrative approach, there is a demand to construct a model of neural uh, network that can generate this kind of EMG activation patterns. The solution to this demand is to provide a systematic way to construct large-scale uh, models. To this end, we have developed ISML, as I said, and IS in ISML, multiple scales and levels of physiological structure and functions can be explicitly expressed uh, in models as modules. Each physiological entity in a model is represented as modules like this. And any model is an aggregation of modules linked by several different kind of edges like this. And uh, although I do not have a time to get into detail, but this is related to mass structure based mining, model mining and ontology. And this is a uh, non Parkinson disease, non basal ganglia related example, but spinal cord rhythm generating neural network models. But uh, I introduced this uh, to show the ability of our platform. In our platform, in our uh, integra integrated development environment, single neuron can be represented uh, the uh, as an aggregation of modules, for example, like this. For example, these yellow uh, modules represent ionic currents of, of neurons. And this is, so this is single neurons. And aggregation of single neurons, population of single neurons can be represented like this, and that may be uh, form uh, uh, single populations. And this is the populations, multiple populations of neurons connecting, connected by a dynamic uh, synaptic synapse. And the, the, this is a, a simulation uh, result on this environment. So as this, one can construct large-scale biophysical neuronal network model systematically with ease. And, uh, yeah. Now, let me talk about the cellular uh, level and uh, subcellular molecular levels. Um, for example, the gabagic medium sized spiny neuron, uh, electrophysiological activity of this uh, sort of neurons may be influenced uh, by the cell signaling. For, for example, DAP32 uh, phosphorylations. And uh, as this, we have uh, also demand to understand cellular exci excitations in normal and impaired neurons in basal ganglia based on subcellular signal pathway dynamics. So to this demand, we have a solution. The solution to this demand is providing a simple way for SBML, ISML hybrid simulation. These are the module of ISML in the environment and we can download SBML pathway model from the, for example, from the model uh, biomodels.net uh, bio database. And uh, we can lap this SBML model by using uh, ISML module and to interact with other uh, modules. For example, this is uh, electrophysiological model downloaded from ISML physiom.jp databases, uh, database, and we can make an uh, interaction between these between these. So this is also a non-neuronal example, but a pancreatic beta cell example. But uh, here we download from physium.jp ISML model, which is uh, electrophysiological 
uh, models of cellular membrane of pancreatic beta cells. And we can also download SBML uh, model from Biomodels uh, database, which is a TCA respiration uh, circuit to produce ATP. And by using the technique that I, I introduced, we can make an interaction between these two different models. Uh, in this case, through the coupled by ATP, so that we have uh, uh, ATP-dependent potassium channels, and we can we can make an interaction between these two. And the, these are the simulation example for this interaction, hybrid simulation. And finally, uh, let me talk about the brain uh, bridging between brain activity and the uh, cellular activity. As you can easily imagine. There is a demand to understand EEG dynamics, uh, that is mesoscopic, macroscopic measure, with normal and impaired basal ganglia function related uh, based on underlying neuronal uh, dynamics. So to the solution to this kind of demand is to provide easy way to perform finite element method with brain morphology, geometry, for solving EEG forward problems. In this case, we need to solve a PDE, that is for Poisson equations, and also neuronal, spatially distributed neuronal dynamics, but it may be usually represented by ordinary differential equations. So this is a very simple case. In this example, uh, we, uh, we have a, a brain morphology uh, as a content from general dynamic brain platform, and with this morphology, we try to simulate this uh, partial differential equation on the integrated environment. So this is a module representation of this uh, equation. So we have a, a morphology defined modules, and we have a PD defined modules, we have a OD defined module, and we can solve these uh, equations morphology together to have uh, EEG estimations. So. To conclude, uh, we, I, I just uh, show a virtual story that can represent the represent, uh, uh, integrative approach for the neuroscience that is bridging between different levels from gene level to the body, dynam uh, body individual dynamics levels. But uh, yeah, to conclude, but uh, yeah, just, just as a con conclusion, and coordinated and concerted effort to develop information infrastructure are required in order to integrate catalog of human knowledge in a seamless manner. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh,